Joining me now is Parliament member Vlako Yorcha. Thanks so much for being with us. Good to see you. Thank you. What is, what is the government trying to do with this? What do you think that this project that's going to cost hundreds of millions of dollars in all, what's it going to do? It's going to make the city prettier. It's going to tell the story of our past. It's going to see to both to the country and also to the foreigners who we are. So they're going to be uh, personalities from our past, the ones that were leading our uprisings from the different periods of the Macedonian past. Yeah. It, it is a fascinating story that goes back a long, long way. At the same time, there are people that say, maybe this money could have been better spent by Macedonia <laughs> right now on things like education, things like roads, infrastructure. All these things are getting slightly improved. For instance, in this year, during the first quarter, we had GDP growth of 5.1%, and the second quarter, 5.3%. And that's in environment where the Greek economy goes down for 7%. Most of the Western European economies are stagnating about 0, 0.2%. So generally, we are improving our performance piece by piece, including the education. The budget for education when it comes to U.S. dollars was doubled in the last four years. So we're trying to, to, to improve the country in, in every single aspect. Now, okay, the, the budget for education is improved. Still a lot of people in the country, they point to that statue and they say, that statue costs more than the entire budget of the Ministry of Education. Well, I'll tell you what I think. Ladies and gentlemen, am I totally screwed or what? The government is getting a lot of support, a lot of public support for this. At, at the same time, you, you look at it, and one of the things that's going to be here, you're going to have an eye on, uh, like a giant Ferris wheel, much like we see in London. It'll be somewhere uh, down in here, and some people say, eh, it's a little like Disneyland, or across, a little like Las Vegas, there's an Arc de Triomphe. And for the first time in a democracy, the people were able to vote what they want and how they want their city, their capital to to look like. So this project, Skopje 2014, was supported on three general elections and one local election. So the people have voted uh, during the heat debates. What? There were opponents, of course. About 60% of the public has supported and 40% not. But after it started to get, you know, the shape and the... And the when, when the things are finished now, over 90% of the people are, are supporting this. They like it. Well, thank you much for being with us here. Tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Kind of chilly tonight, isn't it?